And here I am in my little cottage in Stratford-upon-Avon. Creaky chair, very authentic. Um, creaky me, very authentic. Anyway, aside from that, um, I would like to thank you all for sending in those questions. Uh, it's been very interesting because I realised that because I said try not to ask about Superman, a lot of you did come up with other questions which I found fascinating and I enjoyed contemplating. But I have one here from Brian Ingerman. Hello, Brian. And you asked me to go back to 1974. Are you crazy? Have you any idea I was but a child in 1974? 22 years old, so I was but a child. And you asked me if I had any recollections of Dracula. This was the Dan Curtis CBS production of Dracula. It was very exciting because it was Simon Ward, who was a big star then. And the biggest star of all, of course, Jack Palance and Nigel Davenport. And I was playing one of Dracula's wives. He had three wives. One of them became a very dear friend of mine, Virginia Weatherall, and we laughed so much on the set because, I mean, it was serious stuff, but when you're running around with fangs and bosoms and flowing gowns and ridiculousness and that, you, you have to have a laugh. And I do remember that it was a lot of fun. I also remember that I got into trouble with the director, Dan Curtis. Firstly, I have to say to you, Brian, because you mentioned it, I actually went online to look up Dracula and found that I could watch it on Prime Video. So I did. It's a bit too scary for me, so I haven't watched it all the way through, but I had to check myself out, and I was young and nubile and keen. I do remember the scene very, very clearly because there was an actor, Murray Brown, poor man. He gets attacked by the three of us, we have three brides of Dracula, and uh, I come in with a particularly ferocious growl and a rah, and we come right in from the side to bite his neck. And I remember very clearly that having bitten his neck as I pulled away, my fangs came out of my teeth and were left on his neck. Um, we did this two or three times. Dan Curtis got mighty pissed off with me because it kept ruining the shot. And so I was then instructed to spit my teeth over his shoulder so that when I pulled back, there would be no accidental fangs left on him. So there's my memory. I also have to mention Jack Palance, who was just an extraordinarily charismatic actor. And I, as a young actress, of course, it was my first encounter with big Hollywood movie stars. And he was certainly a big Hollywood movie star. This was made in England, so it was very exciting for me to meet him. And of course, Nigel Davenport. Thank you very much for the question. It was much appreciated. And again, it was just great to revisit. And in fact, I looked through my scrapbook and I actually found the call sheet. And there is my name with Jack Palance. And, you know, I only kept one or two call sheets. That's what you got every night before the day's filming to tell you where you had to be at what time. And I've got one or two from productions. Of course, I've got my one from Superman with Marlon Brando on the first day of filming with him. But I've got the one with Jack Palance. So it's in my scrapbook. Anyway, thanks for the question. Mm -hmm.